Morning gang, welcome back to Big Board. Uh, we're playing deck two. Uh, we are on, let me see, we're about to start, in fact, the 29th of uh, June turn. Let's see who goes first while we're talking. Six is going to be the allies. So allies will start the turn. Okay, so that's good to know. Let's make another of that. Allies on the 29th. Why am I doing this instead of talking to you? Because that's just how it is. Um, here we go. The, this has been an interesting little turn of events over the last uh, three turns, I would say. The Germans have really pushed pretty aggressively along the two main axes, these two roads here, and uh, have done a, a pretty good job of um, forcing back the Allies. And the Allies, the whole Commonwealth force, has uh, run the risk a couple of times of being uh, cut off and encircled, and particularly here we were at the risk of losing uh, pretty much uh, two, three, that was four, five, uh, four brigades and two or three battalions worth of uh, quite valuable troops, some of which can't be replaced. Uh, and just so you know, uh, the yellow circles I'll show you here in this game, and I think it's a, a you know a standard uh, standard process, but. This guy here, who is not going to focus. Oh, come on. Anyway, you can see it there. See that, uh, that dude? That, ye that yellow circle is, uh, means on the, uh, the yellow circle on, in the middle there on the five, means that he can't be replaced. So you can't rebuild him with your packs and uh, other bits and pieces. So, great targets for the Germans to focus on. The Germans don't have very many units that are like that. So uh, the Italians do, but you don't care so much. Like for instance, this uh, this guy here, the little camel jockey dudes, these guys have a yellow circle. And that's probably one of the better Italian units, except for some one or two. Uh, anyway, that wasn't the point of the conversation. The point is, lots of forward momentum, Supply lines are starting to be stretched. We've got lots of supply in Benghazi, which is way down there. It's way down there. And uh, we had a couple of uh, bad turns of uh, interdiction from Malta. So that's uh, restricted the ability of Tripoli to uh, send uh, SP to Tobruk. That combined with the fact that the HQ over here is now really at the limit of his throw range. So I'm using one, um, for the Italians, I'm using this dude. Uh, he's got an eight range. But all the, all the Germans, everything else has to be brought up, excuse me, brought up by truck and be within, you know, the, the five truck movement point range, which is starting to hamper the ability of the Germans to you know, sweep around behind things and, and plunge forward into cause chaos for the Commonwealth. So that has given the Commonwealth time to rebuild some units. They have uh, managed to pick up some packs and some equipment and uh, they have built in the last turn, they built two armored car battalions and a full brigade. That along with some of the reinforcements that came in mean that they are now, if we look at the losses stack over here, he said forcing the camera down, um, we had a whack of uh, six, three brigades here that were out, and I now only have one, three, four brigades lost. I've got everything pretty much back onto the board. Um, either because they were, uh, what am I trying to say here? Well, we had units that were off board uh, for uh, withdrawals, which we've got all the Sudanese forces back. We have one, uh, one uh, brigade out for the Near East, and uh, the Far East is back, and we're waiting on one truck to come back from the Mid East. But we've now got a really full complement uh, because of the, uh, the um, Tiger Convoy and the... Uh, and the uh, and just the packs that we've managed to accumulate. So this has been really good for the Allies. The Allies have now got uh, some blocking forces down here, so that we can, you know, prevent any uh, uh, you know sneaking around by Rommel. 
And in the uh, middle of the battlefield, we've got, uh, well, over near Mercer, I've got a big old stack of battalions there. That's all the armor. Basically, that's the 7th Armored Division there, in ready in reserve mode with a, uh, with a leader. I've got another stack of pretty worthless armor here, but it'll be good for plucking, 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 <laughs> plugging holes. And uh, we've, we've chewed up a lot of SP, and that's because we've built some hedgehogs. We've built a hedgehog at the road junctions for each of these escarpments, which means that the uh, defensive values are going to be really tough, really enhanced. There, uh, the escarpments either halve or quarter the attack strength depending on whether you're going up or down the escarpment. We've done the same thing in here. There's an escarpment uh, hex side there, and there's one here. The, the weakest, actually, no, there's one. No, there's not one here. These two hexes here are slopes, and we're on the downward side of those slopes. And I've built one hedgehog here, and I've got a uh, fairly tough little stack there, uh, factor-wise anyway. There's 12 factors and uh, another two. So it's, it's pretty solid. We've managed to build the line out here a little bit, so we're looking really good. So the momentum has now slowly started to stall out for the Germans as the Allies uh, compress and consolidate. They don't have as much ground to cover and they can start to uh, prepare to counterattack. And I almost counterattacked this turn. I, I started wing winging these guys way out here and I thought, you know what, let's just relax. Let's bide our time, continue to build some supply up, bring more forces on the board as they come. And that's fact, that's one thing I didn't check to see uh, additional re reinforcements this turn. Last turn, yeah. So last turn we got another brigade and this turn we will pick up uh, some aircraft <coughs> and uh, we lose one, uh, we lose one arty piece, but that's fine. But August is also a fairly lean, is a fairly lean month. There's not a lot coming into some South African uh, brigades, but we'll have a full uh, two divisions of South Africans uh, on the board, uh, or South Africans on the board and a uh, full complement uh, of most of the other uh, uh, Commonwealth forces. So it's going to be an uh, interesting few turns. I'm finally getting a little bit more excited about uh, the play. It was a bit of a grind. June has been very difficult for me to play. It's taken me probably two weeks to get through the 12 or what is it? Uh, two, four, six, eight, the nine turns. Um, you know, 14, 15 days, which kind of put me behind a little bit, but that's okay. Hopefully uh, July will be exciting and we'll uh, rip through a dozen turns. Talk to you soon. That's it.